Diane coming at you live on top of, uh, it's actually not live, no, recorded on the moon of uh, Falcon Heavy. Well, uh, yeah. It's not really on a moon, no. No. No, it's on a rocket. Yeah. So a couple things to check out, um, uh, be excited for on this podcast are the, SpaceX. The launch, Falcon Heavy launch. Talk about a new puppy. Uh, trailers. Yeah, HomePod. Oh, trailers. HomePod's very cool. Yeah, talk about trailers. Um, what else? Oh, if you don't know this song, it's a uh, cover by PewDiePie. That's probably why it sounds weird, because it's Swedish. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, support us on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Socratic Gamers. Scott Merchandise. Shop.GodLimitFire.com. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the show. Here we go. Boom, and we are back with another episode of Crowded Gamers. Uh, here again, episode 38, doing the damn thing. Yeah. What's going on? We got a new game, uh, in case you're wondering, uh, visually, like, what's going on with, uh, with, uh, yeah, like, how watch. we're not playing Overwatch. Uh, what game is this, Fish? Subnautica. Subnautica, what's, what's it about? Survival. You crash land on an alien planet, and you gotta find the resources to build back so you can escape. Oh, that's cool. Free download? No. It's not free, but it's it's pretty cheap. Oh, okay. It's a pretty good price. That's cool. On Steam. Yeah. Nice. Speaking of uh, new environments, we just recently got a puppy. And uh, it's funny, you know, because, like, when prior to getting a puppy, uh, there's a lot of, like, um, expectation versus reality going on, you know? Because, mm-hmm. like, when you see a puppy at somebody else's house, you're like, oh, man, like, it would be so sick to have a dog. Until you actually get a dog and you're like, damn this is a lot of work that I didn't actually expect. <laughs> you know, people people can view, like, the two or three hours that they get to play with the dog, but they don't see, like, the waking up and walking and feeding and, mm-hmm. like, you know? Yep. Oh, what, what, have, uh, what do you think about having a puppy in the house? Oh, uh, I think it's good. It's uh, quite entertaining, you know, except for the part where you got to take care of it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's, uh... It's funny because it's like, uh, although, although like you think like oh puppies are very cute, they'd be low maintenance. Mm-hmm. In, in actual reality, uh, puppies require a lot more work <laughs> than uh, was previously previously uh, yeah. assumed. Which is interesting because like uh, my cousin was saying how how like uh, how like we were pretty brave to get a puppy as our first pet. And I was like, what do you mean? She's like, well, older dogs generally know how things work. Mm-hmm. But you have to build it with the puppy. And it's like, dang. <laughs> but have you noticed, like, energetically or, like, trying to, like, discipline the puppy and stuff like that? Like, um, a lot of the way we communicate towards one another as humans, you actually see something very similar when you're uh, – but not, like, like vocally, right? They, we yeah. don't actually uh, say things to one another. We just, like um, – we, we, like – interact like there's there's like a there's like a verbal and nonverbal cues of communication you know what i mean yeah and like i think that's that's one of the cool things about having the puppy you like learn a lot about nonverbal communication mm-hmm. and you actually see like some of it happening with uh with humans too you know oh yeah like the way you interact yeah, with them it's yeah, like yeah. oh like they're a little timid right now or they're like shy or like mm-hmm. whatever right but like you have to really work on your nonverbal skills with uh with a dog Oh, okay. I was I was wondering if, like how hard it would be as compared to like a freaking baby, you know what I mean? Right. Like, oh yeah, uh, they're a lot more. I don't. Uh, well, yeah, you do also don't have communication. So you don't have communication with baby either, right? That's true, but like you do get like uh, the opportunity to build linguistics with a baby versus like a dog. You'll never right. really have linguistics. Yeah. Um, well, one one interesting thing is that. Uh, Contrary to popular popular belief, uh, the whole like alpha male dominance uh, teaching method is not as effective as like uh, uh, tree training. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know there's like Caesar Milan, and then there's the the guy Zach uh, Zach George, who I'm like watching right now, right. and he's all about like being friends with your puppy, and then he'll listen, or like dog being friends with your dog, and then they'll listen versus like trying to like hiss at them all the time and like right. hit them and stuff yeah so uh, i think we're gonna try that hopefully it works out so what why is the reason for that oh because there's no like actual science behind it and and the uh, uh zach george has actually got I, th- I hope his name's zach george that'd be really embarrassing but zach <laughs> george has got a good uh video about it how uh 
how like he uses science yeah um to like teach the dog versus like uh bro science which is what we believed before right it's like right. well wolves in the wild would act this way and he's like yeah but dogs are actually bred specifically not to be like wolves mm-hmm. so like all their tendencies actually aren't there um they learn through like us teaching them and stuff yeah right and they're like our interactions because they're supposed to be workers for us like that's how they're bred you know mm-hmm. oh that, that's pretty cool and i've noticed like uh the treat training is actually doing a lot better than uh like trying to like scare but i i really you know it's like whichever one works better you know but like mm-hmm. i i don't know if she'd be cool with like being scared like it's better to rule with like uh like sugar no better to rule with honey than vinegar right you catch more flies with honey than vinegar kind of thing you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. so like yeah but uh in uh tech news outside of our house uh what's going on with spacex i i know i saw like the, the pictures uh saw the video uh they it was i think it was on a tuesday they had the the falcon heavy launch the one that we've been talking about yep 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 yeah it was uh i watched it live you kind of you felt like you showed me the audio video too that was pretty sick oh yeah yeah, yeah. that one uh, that one is yeah like they captured a really good audio of what it feels like when you're there and uh, mm. watching this thing blast off but you definitely need like good headphones you need headphones like yeah. over ear headphones yeah, so you yeah, can yeah, get like yeah. the whole like 360 sound oh yeah like uh, it's funny because like when you played it on the computer it's like ah, oh, it sounds all right but then when you put in the headphones it's like dang <laughs> like you can really hear the bass and stuff oh, yeah. and, like it you oh, feel yeah. like you're there it's pretty cool yeah uh, do you know what the name of the video is i don't have that offhand maybe we'll link it in somewhere yeah yeah true okay cool yeah uh, but yeah, so uh, what was the whole premise behind this uh, this launch? Well, it's 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 their next venture for SpaceX, pretty much, right? Okay. Uh, basically, with this launch, you can go because the original the Falcon Nines only had, I think, low orbit to certain orbit on Earth. Okay. And they couldn't go further than that based on the amount of energy they had. Okay. Um, but this one. Uh, depending on the size of the payload, they can take it to all the way up to Pluto now. No way. Yeah. yeah. But what are you going to drop the, in on Pluto that's like the size of a car? You know what I mean? No, no, no. It's just that it doesn't... No, no. You have the option now, too. So if NASA wants to do a mission, they want to learn something about Pluto, you can send something to Pluto. Oh, like, like a small rocket kind of thing? The satellite. Small small satellite. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. things like that. There's different, different things that they can do now that hasn't... So there hasn't been like a rocket like this for a while. Mm, yeah, I think the last one was a really long time ago. I think the Saturn V was like the last one that one had this okay. kind of uh, power in it. Okay, and it's not. It, I think it cost them ninety million for this. Oh, launch. that's not bad. That's pretty cheap. That's pretty good because yeah. they also reuse the rockets, right? Right, 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 right. So it's a way to save money. That's pretty <laughs> sick. So, so that's why it was. It, it, you know, it could either have been a big explosion, not sure. work, or it could work. And it worked. And, it'll be, and it worked. So uh, what? what's the purpose of the car up there, just to, like, just for uh, so, aesthetics? So, like, see, what, what's the purpose yeah. of this rocket? Okay. Well, where, the car, or? No, no, just, like, the whole, the whole like, idea. Like, what? what's the rocket going to do up there, and, like, why do you choose the car? No, no, it's nothing going to do up there. Oh, it's going to do nothing? So, so like generally, no, no, no. You ha- when you're doing a test, this is a test flight. Okay. To show that this thing works. Oh, true, true, true. So that normally in a test flight or test launch, uh, to be exact, uh, they just put a concrete block. Oh, So it's not that interesting. Right, right, and right. And right, Elon right. has been saying, like, you got to get people interested in what you're doing. Right, right, Get right, them right, excited right. about something. That's true, that's All true. Right, make it look cool at the same time. So... It was just interesting that he yeah he chose the car. He's like yeah, might, let's do it with the car. Yeah, it's true, true, true. <laughs> and it's funny too with um, um, that because like it looks very fake if you look at the pictures and stuff. Yeah. Like um, like I remember when you showed me the first uh, the first YouTube video. Or mm-hmm. Was that live? Uh, the one where it's like uh, the side of his face and then the Earth. Yeah, that was live. Oh, okay. Cool, with cool. the in the in the car, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was live. Yeah. So it it's funny because like when you um when you like look at it, it, it looks like almost like a two D drawing, mm-hmm. like a very like concept art kind of thing. And then I remember that that interview where he's like, uh, oh, um, the the reason why you know it's real is because it looks so fake. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. And like, uh, I was I was wondering like how that would dispel all the flat earthers now. You know what I mean? Because like when they see it, is it like do they believe in that or do they think just like Elon Musk is also a shell? Yeah, they think he's a shell. You know what I mean? It's like oh no. I was trying to watch. Real. I wanted to see their what they were thinking. Yeah. Or, and it seems like. You got to be stupid to believe this. Or, or maybe, maybe it's, maybe it is flat still. And then, <laughs> but, but like, but we were looking at it from like a top view, so it's like it is flat on its side. Yeah, but when you got the the curvature with the sun going and on, that's it, true too. Yeah, How, the yeah, one yeah. image that you put that's up true. on Instagram yeah, yeah. that shows that it's around. Yeah, I know, I know. That's a funny one. But it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Like, but it's just, it's just funny. They still think that, uh, oh, where's the stars? And there's no stars up there. This is some bad CG. But <laughs> like Hollywood had a better CG. I'm like, yeah, that's Hollywood, man. You know, this, they could have done that then if you really want to believe it. But the fact is that you don't see it. Yeah, that's funny, yeah. <laughs> and you're saying something about like billions of years? Oh, yeah, that it'll be it'll be there unless it crashes or gets pulled in by something else. But like it'll be up. up, up. In, it'll be in space for a long time, Million, billions of years. That's what they said. Wow, is like or did a billion they, years? Honestly. Did they billions. like what? How come a billion years? Like, is it like the gravitational pull? Like, yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah, it'll eventually it, probably it won't get pulled into space, something. right? Because there's no there's no atmosphere uh, to like no. pull away from. Yeah, stuff. no. So it'll it'll literally float there until gravity takes over. Mm-hmm. Wow. Do you think that could come back and like bite people on the butt later on? Like when they're trying to fly in different spaces, they're like watch out for the debris. No, no, it's no. I don't think so. Because there's all other debris out there, anyways. True, it's more, more just like that. calculated and stuff. Like you'd have to calculate. Um, yeah, I think like with with the asteroid belt, that's the difficult thing. I think there's a lot of stuff there that we don't know. Hey man, but I've seen in a bunch of movies where people fly through asteroid belts, so it can't be that difficult. That's a movie, man. Yeah, just like uh, just like space and no stars. Because things can hit off each other, and a lot of the I think the asteroids that we get come from that area. The asteroid belt. Yeah. Yeah, we pass through it every, uh, we pass through it twice a year. I was watching Graham Hancock talk about it. Like, uh, two times a year we pass through, it, pass through the asteroid belt. Huh? What do you mean we pass through? Like an asteroid field. Not, maybe not what you're thinking of, but like, there's a... Um, oh, like a field of debris that's coming in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, we yeah. We pass through it twice a year, and All those right. are the times where uh, we're likely to be hit by um, um Asteroids, right? Which remember the Russian thing? Oh, that'd be a cool video to link here. If you've never seen the Russia video, yeah. Um, basically, what happened? If, if you've never seen the asteroid, sorry, <laughs> we're, we're we're just giving a pause in case uh, that audio of the guy talking is taking too long. It's a pretty cool game. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's like some story in here, but. Cool. Holy! Oh, I like that sound. Okay, cool. So let, let's just hope that uh, that the audio wasn't too loud. But anyways, so uh, uh, what were we talking about? Asteroid belts. Oh yeah, yeah the, the Russian um, the Russian video of like the dashboard cams where you get to see like the um, the uh, the asteroids pass over Russia and explode. Mm -hmm. That was kind of cool. I remember when I first saw that. Just a comment. Like, Comets? Oh, okay. Cool. Comets explode. Asteroids oh. don't. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's pretty freaky. Because the they're all it's like they're ice, mm -hmm. and the energy that's built up as they're coming in explodes. Oh, and that's they just cool. can't handle it. So, but an asteroid just comes and hits the Earth, and then does like that effect if it's big enough. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. So comets explode outside asteroids. Yeah, just before fire. hitting, it'll look it's just like a big bomb. Oh, okay. Cool. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So speaking of big bombs, do you think? Uh, what do you think of the Deadpool movie? Trailer. 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 Sure. trailer. <laughs> oh, that was that was amazing. And I liked it right in the beginning, like how they introed Cable, and they had like the green screen arm. That was pretty funny. Which yeah, was yeah, funny, yeah. and then they made fun of uh, Superman and his mustache. Yeah. Wow, yeah, I like that one. That was, was hilarious. And then and then we put on the uh, Mission Impossible uh, movie with True. the. Uh, Huh? Uh, we put on the Mission Impossible trailer and you watch the uh, if you haven't seen it yet checking out the uh, the mustache that was supposed to be CG'd outside of uh, oh right yeah yeah if you, yeah it's in the in that movie yeah that's why 
he wasn't able to remove it. For yeah, him. I was wondering what movie he was doing because it was like, oh, he had a contract where he can't remove his mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, but he had to do research, so it's like, what what movie was that? And then you see in the uh, Mission Impossible movie, that was the movie. Yeah, that was the movie. It was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty big sub- mustache, yeah, though. Substantial mustache. Like, <laughs> you do, you can't see his upper lip. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't. You can't. But yeah, so so, then, uh, <laughs> so uh, Deadpool movie, you think it's gonna be good? Better than the first? Actually, you know what? I'm actually pretty excited. About I'm Deadpool excited movie. from the trailer. There yeah, seems to be a lot of other people in it, like not you know, like other characters. The what graphics been... look really good. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's good. That's a good bonus. Yeah. Uh, I've yeah. always liked Cable, so we'll see how they make him, portray him. Yeah, that's true. I like how they they break the third wall a lot in the movie. Yeah, and that's that's Deadpool, all right. That's yeah, exactly, the... exactly. It's uh, it was pretty funny when he like uh, he starts doing the puppet show in the trailer, <laughs> and then you're kind of like, you're kind of like, what's going on? Yeah, but like it, that's a very classic Deadpool thing. Do you think it's gonna have like a serious storyline, or like? But it's funny because if you watch the first Deadpool, they did have a serious storyline, but it was like peppered with jokes. Oh, uh, you know, he had cancer, and then like. Oh yeah, sort of, well like, that, was pretty, that, that was that was yeah. I think you'll do the same kind of thing. Hmm. Uh, do you know who the bad guys in this? No clue. It's not Cable, right? I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I don't think it's Cable. I have no idea what what's what's the plan. What's the? I mean, the, anything about the story mm. for this this one? Oh, or what do you think about uh, Solo? Oh yeah, Solo. Uh, so do we ever find out when that music video that um, uh, Childish Gambino? Childish Gambino. Yeah. So Childish Gambino Solo. put out a. Uh, a Lando Calrissian uh, music I don't video. Know. Yeah, I don't know if that's a real music video. Or somebody made it? Or somebody made it, but he has that song. I, like, because it sounds like him. I wasn't, I wasn't sure about the facts about that. Confusion. Well, we'll look into it more. But I, I think it was kind of cool. Like, he was talking about Lando, and that's the character that he Exactly, yeah, and then plays. the trailer dropped. Uh, that was a very quick teaser, though. That still, was, that was. I don't know I how more. I feel about it, though. It, like... It's so star-studded. One of the things that like I get very wary about is like when you see a bunch of stars in a movie, you're like, I don't know if it's good. <laughs> or although the uh, the solo guy, he's not a very famous actor, right? Um, no, I don't think I've seen he's him like before. Unknown, right? yeah, I've never yeah. seen him before either. They've got the uh, Amelia Clark. She's like she seems to be the love interest, which uh-huh. is kind of cool. Um, and who's that other guy? They got oh yeah, uh, Challenge Gambino. Yeah, yeah, childish. I don't know who else was in that one. Oh, those are the people I remember, like the the main stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I th- I think it's it'll be interesting. Yeah, I, well, yeah. Hopefully they. Fit it, oh yeah, it, it felt universe. like the beginning is like uh, well, like I'm a uh, something they were saying. It was like stealing cars or something, and then it just oh, kept reminding. It kept reminding me of yeah the Star Trek, the yeah, first Star yeah, Trek yeah, with yeah. the with the new J.J. Abrams. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good movie had, too. Yeah, it had that exact same the feel kind of in the feel, beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a little so. level <laughs> in him. Yeah. I but uh I it'll be interesting to see, but I just don't know if I'll be into it. Right. Like it it but Star Wars is usually typically good, so mm-hmm. we'll see. But like it could be like they're pumping out so many movies now that it's like, uh eh. Well, it seems like every year, right? They're yeah, doing Rogue One was good um, because it like it fit in the storyline. Yeah, but it's like I wonder how Solo is gonna fit in the storyline. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it's gonna be like a standalone. Like we'll have nothing to do with the future movies. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Which might not be very good unless the only way that this could be really sick is if they like they hint at Ray in this. Like if they hint mm. at something that's gonna come, or you know. Right. 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 I don't know, man. But I couldn't see how they would do that because that's like years and years and years later, you know? Yeah. It'll be interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen. Hmm. Yeah. What do you think of the Wookiee? Chewie? Chewie, yeah. Oh, well, what I do mean, you think of Childish's... He looks the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. But do you look smaller to you? I don't know. I, I, I was just too quick of a teaser. I didn't really study it <laughs> yeah that's true say. that's true oh, uh, sure. uh what's his name uh childish i don't know how he's gonna act he always plays like the nerd character <laughs> like e- either the nerd or like the quiet so do you remember anything about the lando character no i don't was remember. he a nerdy guy i don't know i remember he was like pretty like boisterous he was like uh charismatic right you know but like um 
Yeah, like I, I'd like to see uh, Childish Gambino like step out of his uh, his acting shell, you know, because like the way he acted in uh, Mission to Mars. Remember that? He's, oh like, yeah, but that was like a quick thing. He wasn't. But really... he's was the same. Is like is like it's either that like. It's either that nerd or that, like, OG subtle. Like, in Spider-Man, remember, he's, like, OG but subtle? Right. Yeah, so that's a different role. No, but it's, like, it's very, like, it's it's still him. Like, when I saw, like, the Spider-Man one and I saw, like, the um, um, uh, Martian one. Yeah. You know, the only one where it's, like, it's been super different is uh, Community because he was, like, so out there, kind of, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's, like, playing dumb, you know? But, like... Uh, I've seen his personality in uh, in interviews and stuff yeah. that he's done for like music, uh-huh. and like he seems like that's how he is when he acts. Like the the way he is in those interviews is kind of like how he acts, right? You know. So I'm like, I don't know if you've really got acting skill. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, because <laughs> he could he could ruin Lando, but well, he I was also like a writer Lando. too. Yeah, he was a writer. Yeah, yeah. He did like uh, what's her name? Like what was the show he oh, was uh, writer on? Um, he does. He does different the things. Thirty Rock. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. Uh, yeah. Was it Thirty Rock? No, 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 no. T- Tina Fey, right? It was a yeah, yeah, Fey, yeah, yeah. What was her show? I forgot. I, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so like he did different things, and because of Tina Fey, I think he got into the acting. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a uh, he's a very like diverse uh, creator. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's got like the whole music thing. He's got the whole. Um, it's funny because it's like we're deconstructing like Childish Gambino or uh, Donald Glover, but like he's only like a B character in the movie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like I, I, I haven't seen anything from Solo, the, yeah. the main character. Yeah. So it's like there's nothing to like – like I'm sure they got a really good uh, high-tier actor for that, you know, a no-name mm-hmm. high-tier actor. But like – but like – is it – terrible talker game but but so uh it doesn't talk that much but but like um with with like uh the the characters where they're they're playing like uh like side roles but are famous yeah that's where i get really weary you know what i mean mm-hmm. like with amelia clark like will she be a good amelia clark you know will oh. she be a good um damsel you never know, right? Because yeah. it's like they've already set up who they are as actors, right? Yeah. So it's like you kind of know how they're going to be. Right. You know? And then you don't want them to just be like that. Yeah. There's uh, there's only been like – well, I mean like Leo's kind of like that too. You know, he uh, he always acts kind of the same in every movie. But I liked his act. I like his act. Same with Tom I Cruise. I want to keep seeing that. Tom Cruise also acts the same in every movie. Well, he, I was like seeing something where he's like – Brad Pitt too. He plays – he's playing every American possible – like he's doing all these different. Oh yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some meme I saw. I think I forgot what the new one that he's doing, but it's like another American person. Mm. <laughs> you know who does that too? Mark Wahlberg always plays the same character. He's always got that like badass character vibe, you know, with that like Boston accent kind right, of thing. Right. Right. That like thuggishness. Yeah, I mean, I guess it happens. Uh, it's hard. It's not. I don't think it's necessarily the actor's fault too, though. What do you mean? That they get stuck with these certain roles. They just think of him only that way, and they only hire him for that. Oh, they're like typecast. Yeah, yeah but it's not true, their true, fault. True. They probably do want to try different something else, but like, they just won't allow him to give him a chance sometimes. Yeah, that's true. I guess. Yeah, it's like a. Um, but can you name an actor that's very diverse? Uh, well, not offhand. Even uh, even like all the great actors, they kind of act the same. If you really think about it, it's like uh, even yeah, Johnny Depp I always plays the weird character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they probably are, but there's very rare. That's what I mean. Like they just see them as this kind of character. They write those kinds of roles for them. Yeah, true. true. I, I get you on that one. All right. right. So uh, final thing. Boom. Apple HomePod. Yeah, I think it got released on Friday. Too bad, and that's not in Canada. I would have bought that right away. Yeah, I would uh, too. It looked really good. So, yeah. um, so funny thing, I heard uh, on the Joe Rogan podcast, they were talking about like how Apple is buying these uh, this tech where it allows you to size the room, right? Yeah. And like uh, when when they're talking about, it, they're like, "What would Apple possibly need for that? Like that's such weird tech, you mm-hmm, know?" Mm-hmm. And then Apple HomePod uses the technology of sizing the room in order to give you the best audio experience possible yeah yeah it's all doing that very quickly uh then it 
because there's speakers all around it so they can position where the wall is so yeah. how to bounce it off from the wall yeah and what shoots forward so you kind of get like a full room experience kind of thing yeah. so it doesn't matter where you are you're going to hear the same thing exactly yeah, yeah, yeah i think that's pretty awesome and uh when they were testing that room that room that you showed me the no echo room yeah that's pretty impressive too it's like i never yeah I never that was an intense room <laughs> in order to calibrate for the uh apple home pod they brought the home pod into a uh non-echo room just to just to exactly measure yeah uh, its capability of uh adapting sound oh man yeah it was everything about it is saying that it's really good in in uh, sound quality yeah but like if you're looking for things like smart speaker specifically mm. it's not necessarily for that I think it'll get there, uh -huh. but it's more for if you like sound, if you like music, mm. if you're hooked with Apple Music, uh, it works best. It's funny with um, it's funny with like sound and music. It's so like uh, emotional. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because like if um, if you're like uh, if you if you watch like a video mm -hmm. without sound, you're like, eh, that's okay. But you can watch a black screen and listen to like a baby cry, and you're like, you feel the emotion, you know? Yeah. Like audio is very uh, hedonic for us. It's very like, um, mm -hmm. it's like something that drives our emotions very heavily. Yeah. So it makes sense that like music is like the great, I wouldn't say fire, but like the great communicator. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because like, have you ever listened to a song that you don't know the lyrics for? Uh yeah yeah and, all and, the time but you you still get the feeling of what they're trying to say to you you know yeah, 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 yeah and like that's that's what's really unique about music and like sound and stuff it like touches you on a level so mm -hmm. so it's really cool that with this Apple HomePod it looks very um it looks very like uh like conducive towards making that more of an awesome experience without having to buy a bunch of like additional pieces you know what I mean like because if you want like surround sound in your room yeah or like if you want to hear it everywhere you'd have to like put like 20 mm -hmm. speakers in your house you know what I mean and I think you can also like if you buy a multiple then you can make it one's left one's right oh that's cool but what about the Bose remember when we tested out the Bose TV so I'm like, wondering if it was like that yeah exactly yeah it yeah. had the, uh, but again you have to hear it too right yeah you can't so, so we sure? uh we checked out this Bose TV and like they brought us into a room and like uh, it was just the TV, but it had surround sound. Like if it sounded like there was uh, uh, some like sound coming from behind, yeah. and then they're like, "No, all the speakers from the TV." So it's like, how did that work? It, yeah, it's using the walls. It's got to know uh, the way to bounce it off to make it. It's it's really interesting uh, that that kind of tech. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That's crazy. How do you do that? I so know. is it? Will the speaker be good for like movies and stuff? So it's not set up for that stuff. Oh, it's, it's only for it's, music. It's for music, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, it doesn't have, like, an Apple TV. You can probably use it with AirPlay is what I heard. Okay, cool. So I think there's still a lot of improvements to be made. Uh -huh. But if you're looking for a good music in your, like, good music speaker and you got Apple Music, I think it's a good buy. You know what's funny, though, how, like, like sound it's like you get used to a specific type of sound and then if it changes you think it's weird yeah. so like i was so used to like my uh laptop uh laptop speakers yeah right and then uh when i got the uh the harm what's this called harman Kardon. i don't know what that is it's what? like the the harman Kardon wireless oh okay yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just my, a speaker yeah my, my wireless speaker um, it's like really good quality, like high quality sound that comes out. Mm -hmm. But when you first hear it, you're like, oh, that's weird. Because it's like something you're not used to. Right. You know, but then now you get used to that one and then you switch back to the laptop and you're like, oh, this is crap. You know what I mean? Like you, you habituate to sounds. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? But like people with crappy headphones will be like, well, why do you need good headphones? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it's like. <laughs> but if you do, it's like, you, you know, when you go there, you can't come back. Exactly, kind of exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things like you just have the experience and yeah. then like you're either going to keep using it mm -hmm. or if you've never heard it before, you'll you'll question why do I even need to buy it? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I just, if only it was available in Canada. It's available right now in the U.S., uh, U.K., and Australia. It's sort of like the uh, Tesla. Oh, wow. It's only available in the U.S. right now? Yeah, but I understand if it's just in the U.S., but it's like... 
by the UK and Australia. We're just across the border. Yeah, that's true, actually. I think it's got to do with... I, I, it's not that I don't think they want, They didn't want to. It's, of course, something to do with our customs and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, too. Uh, it's just fun. Does, does, is there a release date yet? For Canada? No. Oh, too I, bad. I have no date, man. I don't know. Mm. Hopefully soon, though. I don't think it shouldn't take that much longer. So that's something you feel like you'd, you'd get? But oh, you can't yeah. Even, but you can't even connect, like, your YouTube videos to it. Huh? You can't. You said it was only for music, right? You can probably do it with AirPlay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. But, like, I like my music. You can probably use it, too, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I, yeah it's just it's just the sound. Again, it's it's kind of expensive, but... How much? How much did it retail that's for? Well, that's 350 American. Oh, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to be, like, American. a grand. It's, like, 400-something for us. Yeah, true, true, true. No, I, I think... It's it, still not And it's not bad. even... It's, like... It, it it's small yeah but it's got like a hev- like it's a pretty heavy feel to it yeah but it's not like the apple like watch the, like i thought it was gonna be like crazy expensive or something no isn't the apple watch same thing it's 350 no, no, american but, no no but but that's like the lower end right you can get like higher and higher expensive oh ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what i mean like like no. the most expensive apple watch that ten thousand dollar one right uh yes but like with the apple speaker it's like here's only one right mm-hmm yeah so it's not that expensive relative to everything else. Right. Because you can't upgrade it. So it's like, that's the base price and like forever price kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah. What, uh, what about like um, that in relation to like Apple? So like if you had to choose one Apple accessory, what would you suggest? Let's say you already have a laptop and you have the phone. So what accessory would you get? An accessory Recommend. What would you recommend? Like, I don't know. I think... I don't even have a lot of the accessories. You do. Yeah, that's true. I'm, I know, but I'm, but I'm asking you, like, well, you said you would get the speaker. Home yeah, 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 yeah. So then the HomePod's what you would suggest? Sure. Oh, okay. I guess. Uh, but I, I guess I have But you have had... Apple TV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I, I like that's, the that's whole... That's what I mean, yeah, yeah. So, like, out of all the accessories, have... what would you re- recommend getting first? Well, all of them. <laughs> I like the Apple ecosystem. No, but, all right, no, no, but... Right, okay, I understand what you're saying. But, like... It depends on what you want to do. Do you like listening to music? Do you got Apple Music? Then get an HomePod. So you don't feel do like... you want... You don't feel like any of the Apple accessories are, like, useless? No. It depends on what you want to do with it. I guess. If it fits your need, right? So you want to watch some stuff that's on your iPad or iPhone or on the TV. Well, Apple TV helps you with that. I guess. I, I'm, I'm thinking in terms of, like... I'm, I'm thinking in terms of, like... Uh, Utility, uh, utility of like, um, like utilitarianism, you know. So uh-huh. like, I'd say like the. Although I do have the Apple Watch, that was like a gift, right? I wouldn't. I always say like, if if I had to buy the Apple Watch myself, I wouldn't get it, because it's like it's right. kind of a super superfluous thing. It's like uh-huh. it only tells me the time. I can answer phone calls. I can unlock stuff. It's great as like an accessory. Yeah. But like, I think, I think the Apple TV is probably the most most important one to get, you know. Apple TV, because yeah. then it's like requires no wires. You can watch like the movie. Yeah, I, I, basically, yeah, the HomePod guess is connected with your Apple Music. Then Apple Watch, you do need a phone. That's what I'm saying. So how would you rank it? You know. Oh, I see. That yeah. way, sure. I guess. No, but but how would you rank it? I'm saying like, well, what do you think's the most important ones for, um, for getting like Apple? stuff uh yeah. i'm going i'm going tv she always gets the tv first right because that one's pretty that's really useful yeah um especially if you want to watch something on youtube or like your computer that mm-hmm. you, you have on your um your device and you just want to throw it over yeah uh i'd probably go home pod after music is probably uh but if it's only like if it's only best suited for music is like is that really important Maybe I put maybe I put HomePod third. I'd go Apple TV, Apple Watch, Apple Music. Mm-hmm. Because like, because that way, I mean, like, there's a bunch of other speakers that you can get aside from the HomePod. Right. You know that that also work for home theaters. Yeah. On top of um, on top of uh, just for music, you know. Mm-hmm. Because if it just if it's just like music oriented, I don't know. Like, how do you, how do you feel about that? Oh. Still worth the money, you know what I mean? I think so. Yeah. 
I, it just depends where you're at. <laughs> yeah, true. Do you have a? Do you have an order? What? Do you have an order? Of like, do I have like, an order? N- knowing now what I meant about the right the ordering thing. Sure, Apple TV. I think is probably be a good option. Cool. So we we agreed on that one. So we gotta get that Apple TV. <laughs> okay. Do uh, you think the watch comes after or the HomePod? Uh. Um. I don't know. That's a tough. That's a tough call. I know, right? That's what I'm saying. Because it's like it's like if it's mainly for music, is it really? I thought it was for like everything. So it's like, oh, home theater. Yeah, that's sweet. But mm, now, now I hear this. It's like, oh, I mean, this is their first step in the speaker world, right? That's what I'm saying. So it's like, is it worth it as opposed to the watch? Uh. Or even the stylus, because the stylus is another. I wouldn't get the stylus. Oh, I got it. Well, that depends if you... Yeah, again, yeah. that depends no, a lot of... Lot, that depends no, no, on but a lot of I'm things. talking about, like, general utility. It's like... Yeah. You know? Because there's, like, the Wacom tablets uh-huh. that people use as aside from the the Apple Pen. Yeah. So, like, if you are if it's if you have, like, a job or you'd really, like, like doing... Really into art. Yeah, so then get the pen. But you, there's also the Wacom you can get. You know what I mean? Like, comparably to other things on the market, like, that's why I put my... Uh, I put the Apple TV first because it's like there's nothing really comparable except for like an HDMI cord. Yeah. You know, and the watch is like. Oh, between Wacom and the pencil, you're saying? That's yeah. You like, want like, to compare No, no, no. I'm saying there's different alternatives to the other accessories. Oh yeah. Okay. Right. So it's like that's why I was like ah, I wouldn't get the I'd put the HomePod and the stylus last next to um, the Apple TV and the watch. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I. Depends on where you at. I will be buying all of it, so. <laughs> or if you just want to drop that dough, get the whole thing. Yeah, get the whole thing. If you want that kind of ecosystem, it's up to you. Yeah, I think I I think the uh, I think that's the greatest part about it, like oh. ecosystem wise. It's very like uh, it's very like uh, compatible, mm-hmm. so you don't have to like jump between products. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's one of the greatest parts about Apple, like. Like you should definitely keep it closed. Mm-hmm. You know, closed versus open. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like closed, closed. You totally you get better. Like less bugs. Yeah. Less viruses. Well, that scared me. <laughs> yeah. So in the end, uh, feel free to buy them all. But if you want to be uh, stingy with your money, Apple TV. Well, at this point, phone. you probably already have a phone. Probably got an Apple Music. Yeah, no, that's true, but I mean, like... Depends on where you're at. Yeah. But Apple TV is good, yeah. They've been selling a lot. Yeah, we agree on that one. Apple TV is very essential. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Any final thoughts? Uh, No, man. I think this week was pretty good for all sorts of things. SpaceX. I think that was a big uh, eye-opener this week for the uh, SpaceX. I'd like to see how the uh, flat earthers are going to take that one. <laughs> yeah, no, they're just... that's that's actually interesting because like, can you can you adapt your philosophy and change it according to a? Uh, well, no, I mean the evidence. I don't mean? think. Well, that that's the real test. Is like if you're presented with evidence, you got to change. You, yeah, yeah, can you change? Yeah, that's the that's the real test. Yeah, you know, if you can't change, then it's like oh, rough. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So this week we learned uh, the Earth is actually round. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the biggest takeaway from this week. The I Earth is round. We, I think we knew that a long time ago. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, so uh, cool. Anything you looking forward to? Anything next week? Next week? No, don't know. What's gonna happen? Not sure. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> there, I, I just you know, I was looking forward for the Falcon Heavy. It happened. It was a success. Yeah, definitely go check out the video. The audio is super sick. And, um, and yeah. Yeah. Cool. You got anything else? <laughs> First round. <laughs> All right. All right. Take it easy. Filled with water. Yep. Yeah. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> Bye. Bye.